shots today, but uh, not expected to. What is it? So what is the funny thing about your golf game? Uh, it's just inconsistent. You know, I'm looking to, to have more consistency up to key, uh, especially with my short game, but uh, it's always room for improvement, so uh, a lot of film to watch, especially in the game. What are some of the things you're looking forward to improving its points in your third year? Uh, you know, footwork is huge. Uh, you know, taking the drops, uh, uh, in the pocket, having a comfortability, of being able to step up and find your favorite game. Here's what I'm going to ask about, like, Keenan Allen and Michael Jackson. Like the you know out there as far as you know, having those two guys in the center, the focus so to speak, to move the ball down with the chance. Yeah, they're great athletes, and, you know, and they're incredible teammates. And uh, you know, they're all special receivers. And anytime you get guys like that, especially two guys on one team, you got to make sure we get the ball. Uh, good things are happening. In terms of camaraderie, the ambience around the team, how special are these events? Especially you're doing it for the team. I think it's great. You, know, you get to know each other. Uh, I think that's one of the most important parts of playing football together. Just going into that huddle and knowing that you trust the guy next to you and have him out here. You know, they might be small events like this, but being together and having those experiences, I think it helps. Justin, as a leader of the team, how do you go about making these young players feel comfortable about being on your team and, and helping them perform? How do you, as a leader of the team, how do you do that? That's a good question. It's kind of a weird thing to me because, you know, I was a rookie not too long ago. And, uh, you just kind of have to introduce yourself, and I could always be better at that. I could always go out of my way more to, to introduce myself and make sure that they're comfortable. Uh, but just know that they're a part of the team. And, you know, we've all got one focus. And, you know, it doesn't matter where you come from, you know, what you believe in, but as long as we're here, you're a good guy. Uh, we work together. We'll get along. Do you spend a lot? With the schedule being out now, what team are you looking forward as far as the rematch going up against this season? Um, I don't know if I'm looking to forward to any specific matchup. I think just the season in general. You know, it's, it's been a long time since we've played football, um, especially losing the way we did last year. You're just excited to get back out there and have a good I think it speaks a lot to our team culture. Um, you know, those guys who love each other. I think it's going to pay off huge when, when we need it to. And uh, just having everyone together and meeting each other, you know, we're building something special. You know, it's pushing us all along. So I'm really looking forward to that. What's been your initial impression of Khalil Mack? He's, uh, he's an incredible athlete. You know, we haven't seen too many live reps with him, but uh, watching film and just his reputation, how hard he works. And, um, you know, Coach Taylor just. He's only told us good things about it, so I'm really looking forward to practice. Now, she mentioned you guys had nearly perfect attention for OTAs. A lot of players are staying here in Southern California, close to the quarters, headquarters. What did that say about the team? What did that say about you as a leader, that everybody wants to be, just be close here to make to see the season start right away as quickly as they can? I think it's a belief in each other. Um, you know, kind of like I mentioned earlier, we trust each other. And to have everyone there, and to have this commitment of showing up. You know, guys, it is optional. And you don't have to be here, but for them to want to be here, to want to get better, um, you know, we're really looking forward to this season. How much have you grown just as a leader in that quarterback role, the leadership, and being able to have a little bit of how the team might be watching and develop your game? I hope more and more each year. Uh, you know, having the, the opportunity to play for uh, the past two years, especially with such a great organization that I am, uh, you know, it's been an honor to be a part of it. And there's always things that I can do better. There's always, uh, you know, moments, lessons, accidents, that, you know, mistakes that you make. We noticed that Dan Fouts was out here today. Have you ever had a chance to talk to him? And if so, what are your conversations like? I have actually. Um, having played at the University of Oregon, he, he did too. And, um, at spring games, we always got to talk and just kind of talk about life outside of football. And, um, he's been an incredible mentor, role model, um, one of the guys I really like. How has your relationship changed from, how has your conversation changed from in Oregon as a former Duck? And then now here is, he's a broadcaster for you, you guys. How has that conversation changed? Um, it's more so just about how to play quarterback, how to manage all the, you know, the, um, the, the challenges, the difficulties that come with it. And, and he's been an incredible guy. He's, he's had so much great advice for me. And, um, I've done my best to absorb as much as I can. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Guys.